Vicky here with you and I've been extremely and by extremely I really do mean extremely busy in the past two weekends plus on weeknights as well uh, making stuff for my Etsy store I've been um, I've been really blessed recently I've uh, made more sales so I figured I really need to get new stuff in and uh, so yeah so I've been I've been really really busy and now I get to share with you what I made so I made another one of those journals uh, using some board game and this one is with a Scrabble game and I've used book binding tape on it and I've also made a charm and because it's Scrabble I figured it uh, was better to uh, go with letters so that's why there's this uh, dice here and um, I decided to go with black and white don't know why just because and so this is the back and when you open it up here is what it looks like and there's a little pocket at the back and there's uh, three signatures of seven pages each so 14 um, pages back and forth per signature and as with the other one there's a ton of ephemera um, and I've used papers that are scrapbooking papers I've used Tomo River paper, I've used Rodea paper, I've used field note uh, paper and I think I've used something else but I'll see um, I'll see it when I go through it so I put this um, thinking that it could be used here or somewhere else and uh, so there's all kinds of little game pieces. So this is Tomo River paper. These are Monopoly pieces. And I've used a lot of um, fun um, paper clips on them. So here's an atlas. And I love this card, so I'm sharing that. So this is Rodia paper. And then this is a field note paper. And so it's, it's a great paper to use because uh, field notes can be used outside. So I'm thinking that this is really fun. And then I've made little envelopes uh, out of a Garfield and I'm not sharing what's inside. It's going to be a surprise. And uh, here's the back. And in this one, I put a little book that I made out of leftover paper. So I thought that was in stapled together. So I thought that was super cute and fun. And this is an Archie comic. And this is the back of the first signature. And then you've got Rhodia paper. Then you've got a book page from an uh, encyclopedia. Tomo River paper. Scrapbooking paper. And I've made some uh, paper clips with a bit of ribbon. There's two of them. This is Rhodia paper again. This is um, a game uh, book. And same thing, there's goodies inside here. Some ephemeras. And then... Uh, there's, I was going to remove it, tiny little cards. And some leftover bits of papers. And here again, there's a little envelope with some uh, pieces of uh, games. This is Tomo River paper. And this is Midori paper. So I bought a Midori book and I took it apart. And this is Midori paper. This is coloring book. And then you've got ledger paper. This is a. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is an Asterix and Obelix envelope. So goodies inside. So there's lots of ephemeras in here. Um, when you look at it, I mean, it's one, two, and I'm not counting the doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and I'm not counting what's inside, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, uh, 27, 28, 29, 
30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So there's over 40 pieces of ephemera in this book. And it measures um, 8 by 6.5 and, and by 2. So that's the, uh, the size of it. Um, and so yeah, it's in my Etsy store if you're interested. So this is the first one. And you can remove the, the charm. So I put it so that it can be removed if uh, somebody chooses to remove it. Then uh, I've been making more flowers because I've sold a bunch. So I made, uh, and the flowers that I had were big ones or smaller ones. So I made uh, now sets of threes, uh, which include a small, a medium, and a larger. So the largest is uh, two and a half. Then you've got two inch and then you've got one and a half. And all sets are made uh, with uh, some leftover paper and book pages. So there's different, they're all different. Even the ones that are black and white, um, they're not the same from one to the next. And I've sewn in the buttons. So you can see they're different. And yeah, all the buttons are sewed in and they're put on little foam stickers and it's easy you can just lift it up like so and you can place it back on whatever you want to put it on so that's why i'm putting them on these little plastic things so those are all the flowers that i made then uh, i decided to do something different for my store i've been um i've been doing a lot of purchasing of ephemera and I like to use uh, ephemera in my in my journals and stuff uh, but I don't want to obviously destroy it and I purchased and I wanted to share it with you guys so wait two seconds and uh, I will pause this and I'll be right back okay so I'm back and what I wanted to share with you is these magazines and this is what I purchased and they're very old, they date from 1915, and they're fashion magazines uh, from France. And uh, at this time they were 25 cents, it's just too cool. And they have ads in the back. And um, so I didn't want to destroy the magazines, obviously, because, I mean, they're vintage. And I just think they're so cool. And I want to be able to scan as well some of the images of the ladies. Um, I have a bit of an issue because because of the fold of the magazine the images don't always come out as I would like so I, I need to get better with uh, Photoshop and such before I can actually do that but anyway this is beside the point so what happened is I um, I got very excited about th this purchase and I decided that um, uh, I wanted to use them in my my makes but obviously I don't want to use the original as I said so what I did is I scanned every single um, uh, all the the back of all of those four magazines and then I've uh, I sp split all the images uh, so that I could uh, sell you know put them separate so they're all uh, individually scanned and there's five there's four sets of five ads each i've put them as you saw the magazines are kind of brownish so i've got the images in the original um the original color as well as i've put them in black and white so there it's a digital uh, set so you, and they're all individual I put them on a Word document to share it with you guys so you can size them the way you want. As you can see, I've sized them differently and I've oriented them differently, um, but they're all the same size. Like this one and this one are the same size. That is that size. Uh, same thing with these, they're the same size. So you can see that you can, you can uh, make them as big as you want or as small as you want. 
when you go to my Etsy store, you will see that I've put my watermark on them because there's so many people, so many copyrights issues and people posting stuff on Pinterest. And then the images that you've put there, uh, they get stolen. And I've spent a whole lot of time uh, putting these uh, ads together so that to make a set and to clean off the images and to um, size them properly and put them individually and all of that. So I really don't want to get my hard work stolen. Um, it, it takes a whole lot more time than you think that it actually does. So I've got the four sets, black and white and brown. So this is the first set and they're all magazine from um, the, for fashion for girls. And, and it's all French and I all I thought it was just so fun to uh, to read about uh, you know what they thought was the the perfect cream or uh, the perfect thing to uh, to remove your um, your illness or whatever they had here was a, an ad for um, a wig and then this was uh, about um, air dye and uh, yeah, so it just, and this was against the, um, the loss of hair. And then this one, it looks the same, but if you look, the, it's not the same ad. So none of the, the sets, like the four sets all have different ads on them. Even though you can see here you've got Creme Simon and it's another one here. So it's the same company, but different ads that they've posted same thing they've used the same image at the top but the the bottom part is not the same at all this one has a lot more text on it and the lettering is different as well and this one is fun because you've got the piano lessons and uh and here they had something for uh be for weight loss as well as con con constipation uh which i think is very funny because i guess it I don't know. <laughs> I won't even go there. So anyway, those are the four, the, the four sets in black and white. And then you've got the original colors. And as you can see, they've not aged exactly the same. Some, some are uh, less brown, but they have stains on them. And I, I really like this look on them. And, and you can see here, you can see the crease of the paper. I tried to uh, make it as clean as possible, but obviously it's an old, it's it's old vintage uh, stuff, and I didn't want to cut them out. So yeah. So I really love how those are turned out, and I printed them on regular um, my regular printer, which is a brother uh, uh, inkjet printer, and uh, I put them on uh, cardstock, but you could put it on regular paper as well, uh, whichever way you want. So those are new to my Etsy store. And then I've also sold a bunch of tags. So I decided to make some new ones. And I didn't want to make the same ones with the same sentiments. So I chose different stamps. And so I made new set. This one has 13 stain, um, coffee stain tags. They measure uh, two inches by almost one and a half. So this one says, "Be brave. Paradise is a state of uh, is not a place; it's a state of mind. Believe that you can and you will. Always believe something wonderful is about to happen. Follow your your bliss. Life is damn good. Art journey. Be strong. You deserve a break today. I'm not who I was yesterday. And you can see that you know they they're a bit." Uh, crooked it's because of the coffee uh, stain treat yourself dream like there's no impossibilities may your day be full of happy and smile till your face hurt so there's three sets of those with exactly those sentiments and then there's three sets of these which um, I've decided to share with people uh, because well I have a lot I, I I still want to hoard some because I just think they're very neat. Um, they're metal border. So this one says your wing already exists. All you need, you have to do is fly. Don't follow your dreams, chase them. 
every day can be the the beginning of a new life inspiration exists but it has to find you working and it's a quote from picasso so this set has four tags and there's three uh, of those sets as well in my store then uh, i've made some sets with colored um tags and there's three rounds three round tags and three rectangular ones so there's three sets of the pink and uh, it's the, the round or two inches and the um the rectangular ones are three and a half by one and a half so they're all the same size but they're different colors and different sentiments so this one is more of a girly one which is why i put it uh, pink and i've edged everything with distress ink and then i've put some uh, ribbon for my stash on them so this one says write free i'm i am still hot it just comes in flashes now it's kind of funny sentiments that i thought was just fun stuff to add to journaling it doesn't matter if you win or lose it's how good you look you don't have to be crazy to be my friend but it helps live life at full throttle and i don't repeat gossip so listen carefully so i thought these were very funny and then uh, this set here is more about being zen so you've got find your zen it's yoga type of stuff and and, pe and you know being peaceful with yourself breathe it all in love it all out so I bend so I don't freak and they're also all edged both sides find your balance begin each day with a grateful heart namaste so that's the orange one and each of those have three sets in my store and then I've got some yellow ones and this one says be kind be honest be true and all these things will come back to you I think that's so true in a world of ever-changing trends be a classic it may have been a mistake but think about what you've learned creative people make their own rules and so it should be art has its own special language and she who makes art is happy very happy and I think that's really true and then uh, finally there's a green set and the green says set says a man sees in the world what he carries in his heart you are the writer of your own story tell it your way hope and these two have been edged both sides where your treasure is there there too will be your heart just be you and strength grows in the moments where you think you can't go on but you do so i really love these i think they're very inspirational and um great fun to add to your journals and finally i've also made some more little journals because i sold all my journals but i didn't want to make them the same way as i've made the other ones so i've made them separate different i'm missing because i store them in this not to mix up the pieces so this little journal comes with all these ephemeras so those are little notepads so it has seven different pieces of ephemeras and the journal itself has seven pages uh, both sides so it's mixed media it's been stitched all around the image as well as um, uh, there's a little ribbon to close it off and it's been stitched so you can see the stitching and I've made a pocket I've also put a pocket inside so that has also been stitched and for these I put beads on them so this is the first one and you open it up like this and then there's a pocket like I said and you can put a little card so I've added a little card to it so when I said there's seven ephemeras well there's an extra one here so there's all kinds of fun little papers inside here it's kind of a junk journal but a smaller size one and it has a pocket in the back as well so this is the first one and in the back of it I just want to tie it back and I can't do that on camera so in the back there's my stamp as well so this is the first one and then uh, I made another medium size one and here it is 
And this one has 14 pieces of ephemeras. And there they are. So you've got all kinds of different pieces. And when I'm C14, um, like these here, to me it only counts as one. So you've got extra pieces in there. I, I make sure that I put at least 14 pieces, but I usually have a little bit more than 14 and, and whatever I send out. So, so you've got plenty to play with. So these are the ephemer pieces. And then this is a little journal, and this one has also been stitched all around. And the closure is similar, but in orange. And then it's um, it's beaded as well, but the um, the beading is a bit different in this one. And it has my stamp in the back. And then uh, you open it up, uh, and it also has pockets inside. If I can open it up, it's always when you're on camera that you can't do stuff. Okay, so it opens up like this, and it had I've put two little pieces of uh, ephemeras in there and you can see the, the pockets in the front and in the back. So you've got ledger paper, you've got book paper, you've got another regular paper, some atlas. Um, this is, I believe this is Fabriano um, paper. It's a new paper that I've added. This is a, a card. I just love those guys. I just think they're so funny. And then you've got some uh, coloring paper, regular little memo pads, and another le ledger piece. And then it's the back of, of this. So in this one, you have, I forgot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pages, double. So 18 pages um, in total. Close this off and I've made one more big one because I sold my last big one and I didn't have any more so this is the big one and this one has 29 pieces of ephemera that come with it so you've got these again some doubles of stuff but only counts as one so all kinds of fun things to add to your journal, some flashcards, uh, some receipts, card, a little recipe, a map, a hockey card. This is a, this is a Musée des Beaux-Arts. Um, it's from pa Pablo Picasso. It's a postcard. And a little card. And these. I just think they're really fun. Got one full of that. This is a recipe card. And then you've got some memo paper. And a tiny little alphabet card. So 29 total, but actually there's more when you consider double. And for this one, there's two signatures of. Um, seven pages each if I'm not mistaken I think it's seven pages it's one two, one two three four five six seven eight actually eight pages each uh, so 16 uh, when you consider both sides for each signature so 32 pages total and here there's also pockets and I've added uh, some um, some project life cards and this has also been stitched all around as well as for the uh, the pockets and it has my stamp and it also closes with uh, a type of uh, ribbon closure so this one has some Midori paper and then some Tomo River paper regular paper, some uh, scrapbooking paper. This is from um, the field notes. Then you've got some of my deli paper that has been painted. And you've got Tom uh, Tomo River paper. This is uh, some uh, decorated uh, letter type of paper. 
and then you've got the back of those and then this is the second signature so you've got that paper then you got ledger paper some coloring page this is from a game a little card I thought this was adorable this I saw Leanne from creatively free to be uh, me uh, do that and I thought it was great and you can put your pictures in it or you could put um, project life cards in it and I just think it makes the book kind of fun so I've added a page of the project life uh, for this signature and uh, and then you get to the center and it's the back so I think it makes for a very fun book and you've got the back here so as you can see I've been really 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 busy um, hope you've enjoyed seeing what I made um, if you're interested in any of the stuff the links will be down below in the description box and go and check out my Etsy store I always I uh, love getting uh, support because uh, and I've been working hard at it because I'm, I'm hoping to grow this and eventually to be able to pay some of the, the supplies that I buy through this so we will see how that works out um, and yeah and I can't keep everything obviously because I, I do make a lot so I think it's a it's a way of um, doing some art, art and at the same time uh, making a money to buy some new uh, products so yeah that's it guys let me know in the comments down below what you preferred if you have ideas for other items that you'd like to see in my store I would love to hear about them and that is it bye everyone